Alkenes. Alkenes are hydrocarbons that contain at least one carbon-carbon double bond. Here's the simplest one, C2H4. Ethene is its IUPAC name. Ethylene is its common name. To name an alkene, start out by identifying the parent chain. It's not just the longest carbon-carbon chain, it's the longest carbon-carbon chain that includes the CC double bond. Here the parent chain is pentene. Here there are no double bonds, so we go with the longest carbon-carbon chain. But here, because we have a double bond, we actually are using a shorter chain because it's the longest that contains the double bond. So here the parent is heptene, despite the fact that the longest carbon-carbon chain has eight carbons in it. Next, we'd want to identify and name the substituents. So in this case, we have a propyl group. And next, we want to talk about locants. So we're going to assign a locant for each substituent. You have to use a prefix if you have more than one of them. But the CC bond, the double bond, takes priority, so we want to give it the lowest locant possible. So here, we number from left to right to give the CC double bond the locant 2. Whereas over here, uh, we did it wrong trying to get uh, the methyls having lower locants, right? So then we're going to list the numbered substituents before the parent name and ignore prefixes except for ISO, as far as the alphabet goes. We have a methyl group here and a methyl group and a methyl group here. So it's going to be 5, 5, 6, trimethyl, and then whatever the parent name is. So we put the locant for the parent name either just before the parent name or just before the ene suffix. So 556 five, trimethyl hept 2 ene, right? The double bond is between carbons 2 or 3 and we use the lower of those two numbers. Alternatively, we could go 556 five, trimethyl dash 2 dash heptene, right? So we put the locant before the name of the parent chain. Either way is acceptable. And then step six is to classify the stereochemistry, right? Either E or Z. In this case, my two important groups are pointing in opposite directions, so this one is E. So we put that in front parentheses E dash 556 trimethyl hept 2 ene or parentheses E dash 556 trimethyl 2 heptene. The Z isomer would look just a little bit different. So what I've done is I've just flipped the methyl group to pointing up and now my two important groups are pointing in the same direction. So that's Z. The rest of the name would be the same. So here we'd have Z-556-trimethylhept2-ene. Here's an alkene for you to name. Okay, so just go step by step. Pause the video. Work the problem. And then resume to see the answer. Here we go. It's pretty clear what our parent chain is. Ten carbons, decane. But it's got two double bonds between carbons two and three and between carbons five and six. And so our parent is two, five, decadiene.
Now, as far as substituents go, we have two methyl groups, so 6,9-dimethyl, and then 8-fluoro. And let's see, we've also got some stereochemistry, A, B, C, counterclockwise with the lowest priority group, the implied hydrogen, on the dash. So that's S. <clears throat> and then finally, the stereochemistry is E around the first double bond and Z around the second. So putting everything together, starting with the stereochemistry, it's S, 2E, 5Z, 8-fluoro, 6,9-dimethyl, deca, 2,5-diene, or we could put the 2,5 in between methyl and deca. Alkene stability. Trans is always more stable than cis, and that difference in stability is due to a steric interaction between the two alkyl groups in the cis. Alkenes are also more stable the more substituted they are. A monosubstituted alkene is the least stable. Bear in mind that there will be three hydrogens on here as well. But it's the other carbons because the mechanism is the same as carbocation stability and hyperconjugation. Having two R groups, a disubstituted alkene is more stable than a monosubstituted alkene. Having three R groups, a trisubstituted alkene is more stable than a disubstituted alkene. Can you guess what the most stable alkene is? The tetrasubstituted alkene is the most stable.